And first tonight at 11, JSO says a woman was headed to her boss's house with explosives in her car. Tonight, that woman is in jail. And the 23-year-old woman now faces several felony charges, including aggravated assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, and possession of an explosive device. First Coast News reporter Brittany Dion joins us tonight from the Grove Park area where neighbors are relieved things did not end worse. It all started here on Antigua Road. Police say they pulled the woman over because her car looked suspicious. Officers say they asked the woman to get out of the car, but she refused. Police say the woman then tried to light an explosive right here in the middle of the street. It happened Tuesday night around 11. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says police were able to pull this woman, 23 year old Charlea Joanne Moore, from the car before she could light the device. According to the police report, Moore said she was heading to her boss's house on Malachi Street just a few blocks away. We went to the home, but a woman there asked us not to show her house on TV. She didn't answer any questions about the incident. It's very close to your house. Too close. Crystal Chavis lives just steps away from where police pulled Moore over on Antigua Road in Grove Park. Chavis says they heard helicopters and several police cars lined the street. Her family had no idea the level of danger right outside of their home. I can't even imagine. I just can't imagine. Wow. You know, it's scary. It's really scary. It's this close to home. JSO has not said the exact type of explosives found in Moore's car, but the report says they took possession of one bomb. We went by the address listed on the report for Moore. A woman answered. She says she doesn't know the suspect, nor does the suspect live there. Moore faces several felony charges. She's being held in the Duval County Jail without bond. Reporting in Grove Park, Brittany Dion, First Coast News, on your side.